Have you ever pondered how one person's life can impact millions, even long after they're gone? Today we delve into the mesmerizing world of The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, a compelling narrative penned by Rebecca Skloot. This book takes us on an intriguing exploration of science, ethics, and the remarkable legacy of an ordinary woman whose life has had extraordinary implications for humanity. At the heart of this tale is Henrietta Lacks, a woman whose life was cut short by cancer in the 1950s. Unbeknownst to her, cells harvested from her tumor during a routine biopsy would live on, becoming an immortal cell line known as HeLa. These cells, reproducing indefinitely in the lab, have since played an instrumental role in countless medical breakthroughs. From the development of the polio vaccine to advancements in cancer research, these remarkable cells have significantly contributed to our understanding of human biology. Yet, the story of Hella cells isn't merely a tale of scientific triumph. It's a narrative that intertwines with the personal story of Henrietta Lacks and her family. The cells that brought about unprecedented scientific advancements were taken without Henrietta's knowledge or consent, leaving her family grappling with a legacy they were largely kept in the dark about. This book is far more than a biography. It's a thought-provoking exploration of the intersection of scientific progress, bioethics, and human rights. Sklut masterfully navigates these complexities, inviting readers to ponder the ethical implications that accompany groundbreaking scientific discoveries. In such a manner, the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks challenges us to reflect on the weighty questions it poses. How do we balance the pursuit of scientific knowledge with the rights and dignity of individuals? What responsibilities does the scientific community bear towards those who unknowingly contribute to its advancements? And how do we reconcile the benefits that have been reaped from Hella cells with the lack of recognition and compensation for the woman behind them? So dive in as we explore the life, legacy, and immortal cells of Henrietta Lacks. The journey promises to be as enlightening as it is captivating, and it's one you won't want to miss. Life is often a blend of science and story, isn't it? This question is at the heart of Rebecca Skloot's captivating book, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. The narrative weaves together two distinct threads, the scientific marvel of Hella cells and the personal story of the Lacks family. Let's start with the science. The Hela cell line, derived from Henrietta Lacks's cervical cancer cells, became the first immortal human cell line. These are cells that can divide indefinitely, given the right conditions. This was a game changer for medical research, enabling scientists to carry out experiments that were previously impossible. Hela cells played an instrumental role in countless medical breakthroughs, including the development of the polio vaccine and advancements in cancer research. They've been cloned, frozen, manipulated, and sent into space, all in the name of science. But this isn't just a story of cells and science, it's a story about people. It's about Henrietta Lacks, a woman who never knew her cells would leave a lasting legacy. It's about her family, who for decades were left in the dark about Henrietta's unwitting contribution to science. As we delve into the personal narrative, we explore the lives of Henrietta's descendants, grappling with the legacy of a woman they barely knew. They're not scientists, but their lives have been irrevocably intertwined with the world of science. They've had to navigate a complex web of emotions, pride in Henrietta's contributions, anger at the lack of consent, confusion about the science, and a deep sense of loss for the woman at the center of it all. In The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, we see the complexities of this dual narrative unfold. The book serves as a reminder that behind every scientific discovery, there's a human story. It's a poignant exploration of the blurred boundaries between scientific progress and individual rights, between the quest for knowledge and the respect for human dignity. The story of Henrietta Lacks is not just about cells, it's about people. It's about her family. Ever wondered about the ethical boundaries in the relentless pursuit of scientific progress? Let's travel back to the 1950s, a significant era in medical history. This was a time when the concept of informed consent was not widely recognized or enforced. Many patients, particularly those from marginalized communities, were often exploited for the sake of scientific research. Take Henrietta Lacks as a prime example. Her cells were harvested without her knowledge or consent, used to create the immortal HeLa cell line. This ethical breach was not an isolated incident, but rather a reflection of the prevalent medical ethics, or lack thereof, of the time. 
This was an era when the rights of individual patients were often sidelined for the perceived greater good of scientific advancement. The use of HeLa cells poses a complex ethical dilemma. On one hand, these cells have undoubtedly revolutionized medical research, playing a pivotal role in countless medical breakthroughs. They've made significant contributions to the development of the polio vaccine and advancements in cancer research, among other things. The scientific community owes much of its progress to the immortal life of Henrietta's cells. However, on the other hand, we must grapple with the uncomfortable reality that this progress was made at the expense of Henrietta's rights and without any benefit to her or her family. The story of the Lax family serves as a poignant reminder of the individuals often left in the shadows of these scientific breakthroughs. In exploring this narrative, we come face to face with the ethical implications of using HeLa cells. The story forces us to confront the blurred boundaries between scientific progress and individual rights. It invites us to question the ethical responsibilities of the scientific community and the enduring impact on individuals and their families. In the grand scheme of things, the legacy of Henrietta Lacks serves as a stark reminder of the ethical considerations that accompany groundbreaking scientific discoveries. It serves as a call to action for the scientific community to ensure that the relentless pursuit of progress does not trample over the rights of individuals. Henrietta's story compels us to question, at what cost comes scientific progress? How does a book ripple through the fabric of our societal conversations? This is a question at the heart of our discussion today. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks is not just a book, it's a cultural phenomenon that has sparked vital conversations on medical ethics, consent, and the intersection of science and society. The story of Henrietta Lacks and her immortal Hella cells has resonated deeply within our culture, forcing us to confront the ethical dilemmas that arise in the pursuit of scientific progress. The book has served as a catalyst for discussions around informed consent and the rights of individuals in medical research, raising questions that remain relevant today. In a world where scientific advancements are celebrated, the book reminds us that progress should not come at the cost of individual rights and ethical responsibility. The narrative of Henrietta and her family's struggle for recognition underscores the importance of treating individuals not just as subjects of scientific research, but as human beings with dignity and rights. But this resonance has not come without controversy. The use of HeLa cells in research has raised numerous ethical and legal issues. Henrietta's cells were taken without her knowledge or consent, a common practice in the 1950s that is now considered unethical. Despite their immense contribution to medical research, the HeLa cells are a stark reminder of a time when the rights of patients were often overlooked in the name of scientific progress. The controversy extends to the present day, with debates over the ownership and commercial use of HeLa cells. Who should profit from cells that have been so instrumental in medical research? Should Henrietta's family receive compensation? These are questions that continue to spark heated debates. The cultural resonance of The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks underscores the power of narrative to bring to light important ethical issues and to foster dialogue around them. The book continues to challenge us, prompting us to question and reevaluate our ethical frameworks in the face of scientific advancements. Henrietta's legacy continues to shape our discourse on science and ethics, even decades later. So, what do we take away from Henrietta Lacks' immortal life? As we conclude our journey through the narrative of the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, we reflect on the profound lessons it offers. At the core of this story is Henrietta Lacks, an ordinary woman whose extraordinary cells revolutionized medical research. Yet, her contribution, made without her knowledge or consent, raises profound questions about the ethical responsibilities inherent in scientific progress. We've delved deep into the dual narrative of this compelling book, which masterfully intertwines the scientific exploration of Hella cells with the personal story of the Lax family. Their journey, marked by struggle and resilience, serves as a poignant reminder of the human dimensions, often overshadowed by the glitz of scientific breakthroughs. As we've explored, the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks unfolds against the backdrop of the 1950s, a time when informed consent was often overlooked in the name of scientific advancement. This historical context lays bare the exploitation of marginalized communities in scientific research, leading us to question the ethical boundaries that should govern the pursuit of knowledge. Our journey through the book has also highlighted its cultural resonance, igniting discussions around medical ethics, consent, and the intersection of science and society. 
the controversies surrounding the use of HeLa cells in research underscore the necessity of ongoing dialogue to balance scientific progress with respect for individual rights. Throughout the narrative, Rebecca Skloot brings Henrietta Lacks to life, transforming her from a mere footnote in medical history into a symbol of the blurred boundaries between scientific progress and ethical responsibility. Through her meticulous research and narrative prowess, Skloot invites readers to reflect on the complexities of identity, consent, and the ethical implications of groundbreaking scientific discoveries. As we reflect on the immortal legacy of Henrietta Lacks, we are reminded of the need for a thoughtful dialogue between science and humanity. The immortal life of Henrietta Lacks isn't just a book, it's a call for reflection on the ethical dimensions of our relentless pursuit of scientific progress.